वेलकम टू रेडियोग्राफी सिंप्लीफाइड टुडे टॉपिक इज एम आर आई प्रिंसिपल टुडे वी विल डिस्कस एम आर आई प्रिंसिपल आई हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड टू वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू एम आर आई यू मस्ट वॉच दिस वीडियोज दिस विल मेक इट ईजियर फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड द एम आर आई प्रिंसिपल सो लेट्स एक्सप्लोर इट एम आर आई इज बेस्ड ऑन एन एम आर फिनमिन एन एम आर स्टैंड फॉर न्यूक्लियर मैग्नेटिक रेजोनेस it is stated that certain atomic nuclei demonstrate the ability to absorb and re-emit radio frequency energy when it is placed in the magnetic field as you know our body is composed of 70% of water each water molecule has two hydrogen atom for every oxygen hydrogen nucleus composed of single proton with one electron revolving around it proton as a spinning charge particle produces a magnetic field so hydrogen proton act like a tiny magnet in a normal state or you can say not under the influence of any external magnetic field all the protons are oriented randomly so they will cancel out each other and there is no overall magnetic field when patient is placed inside the mr scanner under the influence of strong magnetic field b0 most of them line up in the direction of main magnetic field known as low energy state and few line up directly opposite to the main magnetic field known as high energy state since more number of proton are pointing polar in the direction of main magnetic field than anti polar thus creating a net magnetization in the direction of main magnetic field b0 called longitudinal magnetization which is represented by net magnetic vector along z axis now hydrogen proton just don't sit straight but they begin to wobble just like a spinning top called precession the precession frequency omega is determined by a formula called larmor equation which is state that precessional frequency is equal to gamma multiplied by b0 where gamma is gyromagnetic constant and b0 is the strength of external magnetic field the majority of mr system in clinical use are between 1.5 to 3 tesla so for field strength of 1 tesla the precessional frequency of hydrogen is 42 megahertz or 42 million cycle per second and 63 megahertz for 1.5 tesla scanner However we cannot measure the longitudinal magnetization as it is pointing in the direction of strong magnetic field B0 so how to get mr image to get mr image radio frequency pulse which matches the precessional frequency of hydrogen proton is applied perpendicular to the main magnetic field B0 which causes a phenomena called resonance and absorption of energy take place which flips the longitudinal magnetization vector mz in the direction of xy plane and there will be a loss of longitudinal magnetization so what is resonance let me explain you with an example when we turn the knob of radio to listen our favorite song we are changing the natural frequency of receiver the natural frequency of receiver then matches the transmission frequency of radio station when two frequency matches energy transfer will take place and we can listen to our favorite song similarly if you sing inside the bathroom your voice sound like a professional singer like arjit singh or maybe atif aslam this also happen because of resonance please remember one thing when hydrogen proton presses together this is known as in phase and when hydrogen proton presses separately this is known as out of phase so when the rf pulse is applied all the hydrogen proton in the xy plane will start processing in phase please remember this point i will come back to this point later now what happen when rf pulse is switched off when rf pulse is switched off two things happen at the same time first regain of longitudinal magnetization t1 relaxation and loss of transverse magnetization t2 relaxation so what is t1 relaxation it is also known as spin lattice relaxation it occurs along the z axis it involve transfer of energy and it is slower process than t2 relaxation now see how simple it is 
As you know, when RF pulse is applied, longitudinal magnetic vector flips to transverse plane. But now when RF pulse is switched off, so what remains? Only external magnetic field? Due to this strong magnetic field, hydrogen proton will try to slowly come back to its previous position, which is parallel to B0. When this happens, look at the transverse magnetization, which is gradually getting lost. Similarly, at the same time, longitudinal magnetization regained along the z-axis. So T1 is basically coming back of longitudinal magnetization vector to the z-plane. T1 relaxation time is defined as the time required for 63% of longitudinal magnetization to be regained. What is T2 relaxation? It is also known as spin-spin relaxation. It occurs along the xy-plane. No transfer of energy takes place here. It is a faster process. See when net magnetic vector flips into xy axis by the RF pulse, all the hydrogen protons are in phase as I told you earlier. If you look at them from the top, you will find all are spinning together. This is called in phase. But what will happen when RF pulse is switched off? Once RF pulse is switched off, all the hydrogen proton will start dephasing means each of them will start spinning at the different pace. So this dephasing proton along the transverse plane is known as T2 relaxation. T2 is a time required for the transverse magnetizations to fall approx 37% of its initial value. During relaxation that is T1 and T2 Signals are emitted out from the patient body which is detected by RF receiver coil but the real problem is that from where these signals are coming from. Therefore we need to localize them. For this purpose gradient coils are used which is basically a part of MR scanner. Gradient coils are used to produce deliberate variation in the magnetic field. There are three set of gradient coils one for each direction x, y and z. The variation in the magnetic field permits localization of image slices as well as phase encoding and frequency encoding. Gradient coils are also responsible for the loud noise generated by the MR scanner. Once signals are detected by the RF receiver coil, these signals are turned into digital signal by analog to digital converter. The digital signals are then sent to image processor for Fourier transformation and the image is displayed on the monitor to be analyzed by the radiologist to make diagnosis. If you find this video informative, please like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to press the bell icon for new video updates. Thanks for watching. Jai Hind.